everybody, it's Rowan Smith from the Mortgage Center. Today I want to talk about co-signers and guarantors and uh, what the risks are and what you face as a co-signer or as a guarantor and really what all this stuff means. Now, usually somebody is not required to get a co-signer or guarantor unless they cannot qualify for a mortgage or a car or whatever it is on their own. Now, co-signer and guarantor are two di different terms, but they're generally in the industry, they're used interchangeably. So when someone says uh, co-signer or guarantor, what they typically mean is one person is not on title who's buying the home, and another person is going not on title, but on the mortgage. It's not possible to be on title, but not on the mortgage. That isn't allowed. The mortgage lender will say, whoever's on title has to be on the mortgage. But not everybody on the mortgage has to be on title. That's important if uh, one family member is a first-time home buyer and they want to preserve their first-time home buyer rights, this is where we use it, or when one per uh, person's a parent and they're just helping their child buy a home. So in these circumstances, what are the risks of a cosigner guarantor? Well, you end up having to get independent legal advice when you close on the mortgage as the cosigner. So the cosigner will go in with the mortgager to, to, uh, to purchase the property or to refinance or whatever they're doing, and they'll immediately have to go get something signed from another lawyer, a different lawyer at a different firm that says they were given independent legal advice. The reason is they become jointly and severally liable, meaning that not only are the cosigners uh, income at risk for them to be sued for garnishments, but any other assets they have can be chased down by the lender. Now, in practice, this is, doesn't really happen. It's very rare that a lender has to go to that extent to chase a cosigner down, typically because cosigners are cosigners because they add strength to a deal. And they usually have the cash resources to bail out the person that they're cosigning for in the first place. That's why the bank got them there, right? So, why does someone need a cosigner? Oftentimes, it's lack of job stability, lack of job history, new job. Uh, typically, it's income. It can be because they have poor credit, or maybe their credit situation is just dicey because of a divorce or lost job or illness or what have you, and they need a cosigner. Now, in those circumstances, cosigners, be aware that you are not just signing and you're on that mortgage. Your risk is not limited to just that mortgage, it extends beyond that. Now, if you need actual advice on how far the lenders can go, I advise you to speak to a lawyer. But my advice in this case is be very careful who you're co-signing for. Typically, I only see it amongst family, uh, mom and dad co-signing for, for children, brother co-signing for another brother. And the reason is friends don't like to do it because it limits, limits what they can do in the future. If I qualify myself for, let's say, a $500,000 mortgage, and my friend is buying a $200,000 condo, and I co-sign for him, my purchasing power is reduced by that $200,000. If I want to go buy a $500,000 home, I can't. So before you go and co-sign, speak with me and I can let you know how much your co-signing is going to reduce your purchasing power going forward. You're obligated to disclose that, you have, that you're a co-signer on another mortgage, even if the bank isn't aware of it. In most cases, they will be, however, especially if you're co-signing on a loan with CMHC, General Earth, or Canada Guarantee. So before you co-sign, please speak to me or get legal advice and I can at least advise you on how the limitation of getting this new mortgage debt in your name as well is going to affect you going forward. Maybe it's a temporary thing and we can get you off the, the co-signing of the mortgage at the end of the term, maybe after one year, depending on the situation of the actual applicant. For the Mortgage Center, I'm Rowan Smith.